Business leaders and intellectual business community, we meet again in CEO reference program. Uh, today we will talk about the article of Harvard Business Review of May 2005. And the topic will be uh, how business schools lost their way. Actually, what is the problem presented by the two professors of uh, USC? Uh, here, the Warren Bennis and James O'Toole, two professors of University of Southern California mentioned about something is very real that I experienced uh, myself here in Indonesia as well that the graduates from MBA school are not now uh, able to cope with the current demands of the uh, business environment or the, the company's uh, demand on what capability they expect from the MBA graduates more and more MBA graduates are, you know, uh, learning in the in the MBA uh, school, learning more on the theoretical rather than uh, what are applicable on their jobs. So uh, this trend also seen in the United States and other places as well. I think that uh, the MBA graduates shifted from those who are really applied knowledge to the more on the you know theoretical and then they they they, they enter the companies with the uh, more theoretical mindset but not really ready to be applied in the in the in the in the work environments and the CEO of companies uh, more and more complaining about this uh, trend and they uh, think they expect more on how the MBA graduates can contribute more directly into the work uh, environment to their companies. Uh, why this topic is important for you as CEOs and the business leaders? Because often you as CEO and business leaders send your employees or even maybe you yourself wants to go to MBA course but uh, maybe what you get will not be as you expected. Yeah. Maybe the employees that you sent to MBA schools, and then when they graduated, they, you find that uh, they are not as uh, the originally what you expect them to be able to do uh, after they graduate from the MBA schools. Now uh, I have uh, a guest, an honorary guest from uh, Malaysia, that is a professor, Dr. Dr. Zabit Haji Abdul Rajik, or we call we call him Dr. Zabit. Dr. Zabit is the President and Vice Chancellor of University Tun Abdul Razak and he is also the CEO of Tun Abdul Razak Education and uh, Foundations. Welcome Dr. Thank you. Thank you for coming here and uh, I hope this uh, program can be also used as a reference for you as uh, CEOs and also for the MBA schools uh, in Indonesia and in Malaysia so that we can have a better alignment between what is expected in the business uh, society and the business schools. Okay, uh, because uh, Dato Zabit is uh, the president of University Tun Abdul Razak, which is one among the top 10 private universities in uh, Malaysia, that is also having the business schools, uh, very uh, well known business schools in Malaysia. So we have a good chance to review all these things with Dato Zabit. The idea of uh, Professor Warren Bennis and James O'Toole, we check again with the reality of what's happening in Malaysia and also I can share also what is happening in Indonesia. Okay, uh, Dato Zabit, uh, here in the article, the mentions that the problem, what I have ex uh, explained, the problem that uh, there's no alignment or less and less alignment between business school graduates and then the, and the demand of the business environments or the company's demand is contributed by several factors. One of the factors is that the, the professors in business schools now are more and more academicians rather than practitioners. So uh, previously in the uh, MBA schools, you know, they try to link between uh, the reality in the fields and the theoretical side and they use a lot of practitioners but then the trend is in the business schools more and more professors are coming from academicians that has 
uh, little or no experience in the real business environment and it is uh, very different uh, with the school of medicines or school of laws where those who are teaching in that uh, schools are also practicing so they really see the patients they really see the clients and they really engage in the real current uh, business uh, challenges that they can uh, teach or they can uh, coach the students to to be able to cope with the real conditions or the real problems. So, what do you think uh, that uh, does this trend also happens in Malaysia that uh, more and more business schools, uh, you know, uh, having more and more professors from academicians rather than practitioners? Yeah. <coughs> okay. Thank you uh, very much, uh, Dr. Bayu, for inviting me uh, to have an opportunity uh, to share some ideas. Right about this important area uh, in particular we are talking about developing uh, quality human capital in the business sector right now uh, certainly uh, we cannot disagree that the views by Warren Bennis and uh, O'Toole on the article the fact that business school mm -hmm. is not able to cope with the expectations of the industry right um, this uh, uh, view is actually raised because uh, many business leaders uh, appear to be uh, disappointed uh -huh. on the outcomes of these uh, young graduates of MBAs uh -huh. who have very high expectations. Among others, uh, these young graduates expect that upon completion of the MBA program, they will be able uh, to lead departments or divisions uh, and <coughs> whereas uh, their experience or knowledge is still limited. Now uh, this is not just uh, an American phenomenon. Uh, if you look in Europe uh, this phenomenon is also similar in Asia in particular in Malaysia and I believe you know, as, as you mentioned in Indonesia uh -huh. we still have this problem. Right. Now <coughs> Uh, one of the we have to understand why this is happening mm -hmm. among uh, uh, the factors that is a very important contributing for this is the fact that business school or MBA program was started only about 50 years ago mm -hmm. it was started in 1959 mm -hmm. by Harvard Business School to train uh, quality uh, managers uh, to cope with uh, running an efficient and effective organization. It was meant to help uh, those, those uh, people uh, running enterprises in the 1960s at that time uh, to do well, to, right. to, to perform. Now, what, what we have found is that in 19 early late 50s and early 60s, the economic environment was very much of, I would say, uh, have little changes. The dynamism of the business environment was not rapid in terms of technological changes. Uh -huh. So, teaching the business uh, <coughs> uh, people uh, was relatively not so difficult because okay. of the less dynamism. Uh -huh. But in the last 30 years, you know, with uh, technological changes, rapid uh, ICT, uh, communications in broadband, uh, e-commerce, uh, the business uh, sector realized that they had to uh, cope with m very rapid and dynamic changes. Mm -hmm. Now apparently you find that uh, in the business school uh, there are people who is not able to cope with these rapid changes. Mm -hmm. And this is where you find that there is a gap between uh, what is taught in business school and what is happening so in the industry. What you mean is that uh, the problem is not that uh, more and more professors are from co academicians, mm. but rather than the, the changes in the environment. I mean, the composition of the professors from uh, academicians and from uh, practitioners are still yes. the same throughout the time. No. In the last, I would say, uh, when business school MBA was started 50 years ago or even 40 years ago, it was okay to have the business professors understanding uh, about the business environment mm -hmm. but in the last 10 to 15 years you realize that the dynamism in the business environment is so rapid and businessmen also have difficulties to cope with it 
and certainly business professors also have similar uh, problems in trying to cope with this dynamism which which part of business professors that have prob this problem i mean the academicians or the practitioners i mean if the practitioners i think they're, uh, they're both. coping with uh, every day's life you know of <coughs> their okay you know. uh, the businessman is in the battlefield uh -huh. okay they are in the battlefield and they face this uh, every day uh -huh. the war now as far as the lecturers uh, the professors are concerned they will hear this either from the newspaper from the right. students they met and even their interactions with business people but they are not in the battle they are maybe in the what you call that uh, the battle room station right. <laughs> okay <laughs> the control room <laughs> yes so they will hear they will hear from their regiments uh -huh. from their colonels on what is happening on the ground uh -huh. Right. So, but by the time it is reported to these professors, you know, it, it, it was over. It was already over. Uh -huh. So, so this is one of the biggest challenge uh -huh. that academia face yeah. today. Professors, well, the, the, the uh, yeah, academic professors, yes, facing problem mm -hmm. about this. Yes. Okay, uh, Dr. Uh, Zabit, we have to break for a while, and then we will continue for the. Uh, second segment of these discussions business leaders and intellectual business communities we have to have a little break and we'll come back after this for you who wants to participate please sms to zero eight nine triple six sorry zero eight nine 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 six five nine seven eight eight we'll break for a while <laughs> 